So, um, we're going to talk about sorting. Everybody knows some good computer science. I am here to destroy computer science. So, uh, my, my son, 16, just done a GCSE where they were taught GCSE computer science exam you take in this country when you are 16. They were taught bubble sort, merge sort, and insertion sort. Bubble sort is surprisingly hard to get right. I mean, everybody mocks it, but they still can't get it right. So, this is the point. Or so we thought, have you ever found yourself needing to write down the pseudocode for bubble sort? I only realized it's not as straightforward as you think, and you couldn't get it right the first time. And everybody's thinking, of course I can get it right first time, except for all the off by one errors. <laughs> yeah, fine. So, it needs a bit of care to get the loop indices just right. Get the right values, not going out of bounds. Handle flag variables. Wouldn't it be nice if there is a simple algorithm with no such hassle? And this is one of the most recent discoveries or inventions, depending on your perspective on mathematics and algorithms, invention versus discovery. Um, Stanley Fung, um, last October, came up with this. He said, is this the simplest sorting algorithm ever? Um, it's called I Can't Believe It Can Sort. Um, and that's it. So, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, and a lot of people kind of look at that and they go, well, well hang on, that, that can't be right. Surely you've got the comparison the wrong way. So I moved it into C++ and, and there it is. That's it. it. This is brilliant because it is incredibly simple. It is easy to get right every single time. Importantly, it's ON squared. And there's none of this vagueness. People say, oh, well, bubble sort, worst case is, best case is. No, it's always ON squared. It is utterly deterministic. There's none of this uncertainty, okay? This is the opposite of quantum computing. <laughs> but if you want things to take a really long time, one of the simplest, most elegant sorting algorithms that people always overlook for some reason, I don't know why, because it's pretty much a one-liner. I've only put the semicolon in its own line just to keep linters and humans happy. But it weren't for you a lot. I'd just leave it as it is. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, it's only got factorial complexity. And then there's kind of this classic, which people often implement in various different ways. Now, there's, you know, basically just shuffle it until it's sorted randomly. And this has got OMG complexity. Um, now, the thing is, actually, most people implement this one incorrectly. Because what they do is they check it's sorted first. But what if it's already sorted? No. The one use I have found that is reasonable for a do-while loop Ah, oh, damn it, they took random shuffle out of the standard for no good reason. I will have a discussion about no good reason later. Well, that's fine. You know, we can get around that. So, yeah, we can make this work. However, John von Neumann, as you noted, anyone who considers arithmetical methods of producing random numbers is, of course, in a state of sin. John, I don't know what's wrong with that. That sounds great to me, but okay. Let's do this right. Now... We've also got an interesting thing here, because technically speaking, that's not an algorithm. By definition, an algorithm is something that terminates. There is no guarantee that BOGO sort actually terminates. I mean, the probability that it does so hugs zero so closely and intimately you'd be forgiven for thinking that they are equal, but it isn't zero. It's just close. Now, in the range of esoteric sorting algorithms, this is one of my favorites. This is possibly the only good thing to ever come out of 4chan. Um, and so this was nine years ago. Um, pandemic adjusted time, that makes it 2011. Uh, I've simplified it. Um, you can just use it in classic Bourne shell. Uh, let's just do this. And, you know, sleep sort is, it's, it's great, you know. Um, I'm not entirely sure, wait for it, wait for it. I'm not entirely sure this is safe for work. But superficially, it kind of looks ON. But there is actually an ON um, complexity uh, sorting algorithm. It's called drop sort. Basically, you go along, and anything that is not in sorted order, you drop it. So it's perfectly linear, a little bit lossy. <laughs> but you know, hey. 
Now, when I post, I've written some blog posts about some of these. Ron Jeffries said, Kevin seeks out evil. Can he possibly not be evil given his, beh his behavior? I don't know. That's back to sin and stuff like that. I don't really understand. But, you know, I'd like to give you the alternative perspective that if one is to understand the great mystery, one must study all of its aspects, not just the dogmatic narrow view of CS educators. If you wish to become a complete and wise programmer, you must embrace a larger view of algorithms. Thank you very much.